New Supreme Court, this uh, the, uh, Vigilant Fox video, new, su- new, new Supreme Court ruling. Uh, they're here, now, remember, didn't I just say a minute ago, Supreme Court's useless? Well, here's why they're useless. New Supreme Court ruling allows the IRS to access your bank records without a warrant. Uh, what was the vote? Yeah, uh, let's see, six to three, seven to two, five, four. Oh, uh, no, nine, zero. Nine, zero. So Brett Kavanaugh, Samuel Alito, John Roberts, Amy Coney Barrett, Clarence Thomas, all just voted to allow the IRS, which if they allow the IRS, that means the FBI can do it too, can now access your bank records without a warrant. No problem whatsoever, right? Though these people are really there for you. All right, a little ep- epic e- epoch news summary of it. Play it for me, Will. If you happen to need another reason to dislike the IRS, well, the Supreme Court just gave it to you. According to a unanimous decision that just came down from the U.S. Supreme Court, it is now completely legal for the IRS to secretly obtain the bank records of third-party individuals who are not under federal investigation. I repeat, at a time when the liberal wing and the conservative wing of the Supreme Court can't seem to agree on anything, Well, in this case, they agreed nine to zero in favor of the IRS. And because of this new ruling, you can be a person who has committed no crime. You're not even suspected of having committed a crime. But if the IRS is trying to collect back taxes from your friend, well, they can still pull your bank records as well. And the best part is that this entire process can play itself out in secret without you ever being informed that the feds have taken access of your bank records. Here's specifically what an analysis of the Supreme Court decision explained. Here's how it explained this new rule. Quote, the Supreme Court has ruled unanimously that it's lawful for the IRS to secretly obtain the bank records of third parties when collecting on taxes owed. In other words, the nation's highest court recognized that the IRS isn't required to notify third parties who aren't under investigation when seeking a summons for banking records thought to be relevant to the tax delinquency of another person. Now, visually, here's what the new rule looks like in practice. Let's say the IRS is investigating a man named Kevin for possible tax evasion, and they have determined that Kevin owes about $5 million in back taxes. Now, if you happen to know Kevin, Kevin happens to be your friend, and therefore, without telling you, the IRS can now access your banking records in order to supposedly investigate Kevin. And the problem with this whole scenario becomes quite evident when you consider the fact that Kevin doesn't only know you. Kevin has family members, he has other friends, he has neighbors, he has coworkers, he has acquaintances, he has people and companies he's done business with in the past, and so on and so forth. All of whom can now legally have their bank accounts accessed by the feds in secret. In fact, if you really stop for a moment and consider how interconnected the modern world has become, well, it's not a stretch to say that very likely every single person who's watching this episode right now knows at least one individual who happens to be under investigation by the IRS. Meaning that in practice, every single person who's watching this episode right now is subject to this type of government intrusion. So there you go. That's how it works. Now, let's look at this. Let's break this down real quick. Now, let me call upon my producer, Aaron. This is the first time I've ever actually called upon him. We got everything hooked up finally because of his effort. Been wanting to do this for a long time. So, what amendment does this violate, Aaron? Play for or talk about it for me. Yeah, so it's the Fourth Amendment, and it states that the right of the people to be secure in their persons, houses, papers, and effects against unreasonable searches and seizures shall not be violated, and right. no warrant shall it be issued. Perfect. Bring it back to me. So, a warrant has to be issued. So the entire Supreme Court, the excellency of criminal law minds, just voted to completely and totally remove your Fourth Amendment rights. Now, what is this about? It is about the Washington Uniparty. Remember, I don't care how conservative they are. They all allegedly, because they're not really conservative. Remember, this goes back to the original podcast. It really is a traveling uh, traveling uh, show. Where you all get to play a part. Uh, we need. We got a couple over, openings in conservative. Uh, we've got a couple openings in independent. Got some openings as liberal Democrats. You know, got some uh, openings as leftist uh, charlatans. Who wants to play all these parts? Because all you, they just want to be part of the cast. Because then you get to go to the cast parties. And that's the Supreme Court's no different. The Supreme Court just took away your Fourth Amendment rights when what, having to do with anything, having to do with any any financial aspect of your life that's involved in a bank.